Hello cool artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. So I'm here with another unboxing. I got my Stashing with Stephanie subscription. So Stashing with Stephanie is curated by Stephanie Sebbing over at Quilt Addicts Anonymous. Um, I have been with this, with this subscription now for almost two years, I'd have to say. Um, when I looked at my, my subscription sign up, it said I signed up in October of 2020. Um, so that tells you how much I like this subscription because I've had it for a very long time. And before I had it in October, I actually had it earlier that year. I had it for a few months. Um, I got a couple of lines that I wasn't like over the moon with. But mostly I wanted to try out a couple of other subscriptions. And so I had stopped this one so that I could try out some other ones. And... I ended up coming back to this. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, I only have a few and they're my favorites because I actually really like them. Um, they make sense for me. So the way this one works is we get 10 fat quarters and a pattern every month. And the price, which I have forgotten, I've forgotten how much it is. I think it's like $29.99 or 30 I can't remember I will put it in the description I it changed and I don't want to say the wrong thing because I did that before I was using the wrong price and forgot to mention that it went up because it just automatically drafts and I wasn't even paying attention I didn't even realize the price went up so um, so every month she designs a pattern to go with the fabric that she is giving us um, the last month's pattern was um, very complex if I'm not mistaken it was it was a lot it was a lot of diamonds and triangles and I was like Whew, no but this month's pattern let me show you guys this is right up my alley there's my address I don't really care I, I'm not I guess I'm just not uber concerned about you guys hunting me down okay <laughs> Um, so this is the pattern this month. She does a lot of patterns like this, which are uh, kind of easy strip pieced patterns, large pieces. She's calling this pattern all the pretties because it's very, very large, um, large scale prints. Like if you have large scale prints that you just don't want to cut up um, because they're just too pretty to cut, this uh, pattern is perfect for that. Easy strip piecing. I think she said that she did this in a weekend. So goes together quickly. This is right up my alley. It's very modern. Um, I like this. So let's see what fabric we have. I'm going to be trying out these uh, cute little scissors that came in the uh, sew sampler. Now these scissors are tiny. Of course, they're not really designed uh, to cut something this long. You know, if you're cutting a piece of thread, you know, cutting a piece of yarn, <laughs> I don't I don't think they're quite meant to uh, you know, be cutting that far cuz they're very small and you can you can you can see that they're not, you know, they're they've got nice holes here for the for your fingers so that they're not too tight, but you you know, this is not for long sewing. I mean, long cutting or cutting long, you know, longer, longer amounts. I don't, what am I trying to say? This is basically for snipping, you know, snipping a quick thread. You know, they are very sharp though. Like these so far. Um, so let's see what fabric we got this month. Okay. This is very much, this is, well, Everything Stephanie picks is modern. She she likes modern fabric, so there's a lot of Wyndham, um, a lot of uh, Figo fabrics, of course Tula, um, stuff like that. You do I, I almost never see co collections from Moda or Riley Blake, just because they're they don't generally have a lot of modern lines. Um, they tend to have a lot more traditional fabric lines. So. Um, I have a lot of confidence because I know that what I get from Stephanie, I'm not going to get in my sew sampler box. Like, I'm just not. Like, it's it's tech theoretically possible that it could happen, but just no. It, it's just not. It would, be, it would be such a rare thing. I love this color palette. So this is Clara Jane. 
by On The Mark Designs for Cotton and Steel. My last name starts with a C, so I get bundle A. I will always get bundle A. There are three different bundles, bundle A, B, and C. And the bundle you get depends on what your last name is. I will always get bundle A. Now Stephanie does finishing kit kits to give you the remaining fat quarters that you would need to make the pattern and also any background and binding. So um, she kind of does that. And so if you wanted to get the rest of the fat quarters that were in the line, you could just order the finishing kit for your bundle, for your, you know, I would get the finishing kit for bundle A, and it would give me the rest of the fabrics that I need to finish. Um, it might not be every fabric in the line, okay? But it would, it would be additional fat quarters to finish, um, to, to, do the, to do the quilt. Now, I did print out the pattern, but my printer ate it. This is so pretty. This is gorgeous. And this is reading very true. So the colors that I see in person are the colors on the screen. And this is a gorgeous line. I love this color palette. I love it. I love it. And then we have two more. I love this. Oh, this is great. This is great. This is our this is our selection this month. Last month I had to go get additional prints. Um, I did order the finishing kit. Um, <laughs> I did order the finishing kit last month. So um, I, even though I had no intention of making the pattern, I just wanted the rest of the prints. Um, and that that might be a, con a serious consideration for this uh, for this month as well. Um, this is just so luscious. I love this. Um, I love this these mustardy tones and the coral. Like I just wouldn't have thought to put the coral in here. Like I just wouldn't have. But it just goes so well together. Um, and you can see you can see the coral here and here, and how it kind of pulls it out. And there's a little bit of coral in this print as well. And a little bit, a tiny bit here, just in this here. Like it's a little bit corally. And these flowers here as well. And the way the blues, oh, this is just, this is so well balanced. Um, not just in color, but um, in scale. It's a really good balance of color and scale. We've got these kind of all over prints here and then we have these um, not really blenders but these kind of uh, toned down and then these we have these kind of where the the print is a bit more it's a smaller print a bit more spread out and then you have these two here that are just very um, I, I don't I'm not really good at saying all the, <laughs> saying all the things I just know that this really works like this really really works um, I love this I love this um, I would not use this for this pattern I, I personally would not um, and it doesn't look like Stephanie did either she used a prior line she actually used a line that I am currently using it looks like a line that I'm currently using in another project or no because these, I'm recognizing this, this pencil print, and you guys can't see it. Why am I saying this? You guys can't see it. But the line that she used is, um, I have it lying around because I'm doing uh, some test blocks. Well, not, not test blocks, but. Hold on. These butterflies. I'm noticing this butterfly, there's like a yellow butterfly plant print in here, and that looks like this same butterfly print but a different background. And this is a, um, this is a, a quilt pattern that I'm testing, and um, I think this is the line that she used. Um, I did not use in these, in these test blocks, I did not use the, um, but I too um, thought that this this 
fabric line was good for um, larger, larger scale. And it looks like that's what she used. The pencil, uh, the pencil prints I didn't use in my, in my quilt. Those are these prints here. So I can see where she used these. And so I can tell this is the fabric line that she, that she used to make this quilt. And so, yeah, I would agree. This would, it's actually perfect. It's, it's a perfect pattern for, for that line. I personally wouldn't use it for this line. Um, I don't know what I would use this line for, but it is so, it is so luscious. It is, I just love this. I just love this. I love this print. I think this is my favorite print, but I love this. I love this line. So, um, yeah, that's, that's our, that's our 10 fat quarters for this month. This is our pattern, all the pretties. Um, and don't forget, when you do sign up, you do get access to all of the prior month's patterns. So about once a year, she'll take some of the patterns off of the website and put them into a book. Once they go into a book, if you have not already become a member, you lose access. But if you've already become a member, even if she takes some of them out off the website and puts them in a book, you still have access to those. So basically, I have all of her books because I've got all her patterns. I, sh I don't have all her books because, anyway, that's a long story. Anyway, um, love this month. I'm super happy. Love this collection. It is very unique. I don't have a lot of this in my collection. So um, this is a welcome addition. So uh, that is it for me, you guys, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't already know, I do a giveaway on my channel every month. Please um, watch that giveaway video, leave a comment to enter, and be subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.